Hey, what's up, guys? My name's John. Welcome to Daily Theology. I think college football is a good thing, so pay attention to this. But uh, the woke train, the wokeness, the fact that we're becoming political activists in every sphere of life with no grounding in reality, this is a dangerous thing. This is how people get swept up in the emotionalism, in the uh, basically cultural phenomenon of cultural Marxism. And I would encourage you guys uh, to reject this completely. This is a sad state of affairs. Herb Street, what are you doing? This is awful. Watch him cry like a baby. Now, I'm from Ohio. I root for the Buckeyes when they're playing, when I watch them, which isn't that often. But Herb Street is crying like a baby over a perceived threat to black lives in cars that is not happening. It's not real. It's a narrative. Okay, the, the metrics aren't there. And Herb Street is crying like he just lost his favorite nephew. Okay, so I'm going to go to the clip. This is bad. Brace yourself. I want your help. You know what I mean? It's like... He's wearing crying. A and, wearing a hoodie. Uh, putting your, putting your, your hands at 10 and 2. Oh, God, I better look out because I'm, I'm, I'm wearing Nike gear. Like, what? What are we talking about? I don't know. And so I don't know what we're talking about. You can't relate to that if you're white, but you can can't listen. relate. But you're white, Kirk. And... So if you can't relate to it and you can't speak to it, you're white. What do you do? What is this video? You're refuting yourself. You're refuting your position. The amount of melanin in somebody's skin does not determine morality. It does not determine ability to empathize. Experience does not dictate truth. Kirk Herbstreit, this is intersectionality. This is garbage town. You can try to help. That's so bad. This is not... Okay. This video is not it's okay. Not. It's not. And, uh, so he is he is literally crying like a baby. Now I'm not saying empathy for those that are abused and maligned is a bad thing, but the narrative behind this is infiltrating every crevice of society and thinking. College football, uh, one of the guys that uh, is worth checking out is called Officer Tatum. He played college football. He's really uh, fun to watch. He's well-spoken in this area. They're mo the most privileged people on campus. They get everything they want. There's no accountability in many instances for things they do wrong. They're not uh, suffering to playing football. I'm not saying they're not taken advantage of in some circumstances, but this narrative that only black players are at risk and that white players need to just sit down and be quiet and listen because we don't know uh, how to relate to black people or can't even imagine to begin to think about truth and reality. Ethics, knowledge, and truth come from God. God is a source of truth. The conscience is a source of morality. All knowledge is in Christ. But when you supplant that and you just make it this emotional narrative, this is virtue signaling crying. This is Kirk Herbstreit, the former quarterback of the Ohio State Buckeyes, crying like a baby over a perceived wearing Nike gear. This is the craziest thing. But 2020 is uh, capable of bringing even uh, what I thought was a sane person to the brink of insanity over virtue signaling. Desmond Howard, did, did he give him a hug afterwards? Did, did a Michigan player embrace an Ohio State player? I hope not, because this is a disgrace to people, to all people who are made in God's image. This is a disgrace to the fact that college football is a good thing, a fun thing, a thing that we need, and it's, be, it's becoming hijacked. It's being hijacked by virtue signaling and political agendas and a Marxist ideology that is anti-God and anti-family. This is terrible. And this needs to be stopped. This has nothing to do with college football. This has nothing to do with reality. This has nothing to do with the fact that more black babies are murdered through abortion, Kirk Herb Street, than, than any traffic stop. Black people are targeted in abortion. Look up Margaret Sanger. She's a known eugenicist. Where are the tears? Where are the crocodile tears for all the babies? Where are those people? Why is that never mentioned in these discussions? Because it's hypocritical. Because they have no basis in what's actually happening. They don't care that about a million children a year are aborted, and most of them, or a good percentage, are African-American or black children. So, 
My summation is that just probably don't listen to Herb Street for a while because he's pushing an agenda now. ESPN appears to be pushing an agenda, and it doesn't mean that we're mad at them, but you have to carefully consider the sources of information that you're taking into your life. If you're not reading your Bible daily, this is a great opportunity to take that four hours on Saturday that you were watching people like Kirk Herbstreet call games and apply it to the Bible. I'm not saying you can't watch football, but you have to use discernment. This is terrible. Thanks for watching. If you have not yet, repent and put all of your trust in Christ. Turn from sin, turn from self, turn from virtue signaling, and trust that Jesus Christ became sin. God made him who knew no sin to be sin so that by him we could become the righteousness of God through his death on the cross and resurrection. If you trust in that, you will be saved from the coming day of judgment. Remember to hammer the like button, like the 95 Theses, and I will see you tomorrow. God bless.